So now huge consumer volumes, bringing the, the price huge of demand. persistent flash down. Absolutely. And now that's migrating into the enterprise. Somewhat different technology, but fundamentally it's Correct. the same, right? So I we mean, call that Moore's Law of Storage, okay? So you've Moore's known law Moore's storage. Law of Compute, where Intel is doing a great job in doubling the CPU horsepower every year. Every year the CPUs come out faster, server utilizations are around 10, 12% in these data centers. Is flash sustainable? We think this is the way in which we can actually start shortening that gap. And this is the first time we've started using flash in enterprise settings, driving application performance through the roof. It's unprecedented in terms of what, the, what that is. And how that can be deployed across large scale clusters is what we are focusing on. So. Yeah, so, I mean, I've been is it, just, is it sustainable? Is Flash sustainable? Or, Absolutely. Absolutely. I mean, so, from a technology and engineering perspective? So, Flash itself, you know, if you see, the, the what ships today is what we call 34 to 40 nanometer Flash. Okay, this is, this is the lithography that people make these factories, you know, Samsung and Toshiba and Micron make these in. These are going down, there's at least three more generations. They're going to cross over in price points compared to hard drives over the next three to five years. So you can deliver, one of these flash drives can deliver 2,000. So for instance, FC drives, right? Correct, fiber channel drives, yeah. correct. Not SATA. Not, uh, it's coming down, it's coming down. It's coming down faster than you think. Within five years? Within five years. So within five years, so let me just make sure I get the prediction right. Within five years, you're saying that from a cost per bit standpoint cost will be per cheaper, bite, cost per bit. will be cheaper than spinning disk, fiber channel, and including SATA. Correct. Well, yes, yes. That's my that's prediction. The, that's the first time I've heard that prediction applied to SATA. So that's a uh, that's because it's it's getting to a point. MLC flash drive is under a dollar per gigabyte today, and fla and magnetic storage is around ten twenty cents per gigabyte. So it's 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 a factor of five to ten x away, and it's and, coming and down. flash prices for a while were coming down faster than sixty percent per year over the last four years. Yeah, but, but then there was an uptick, right? Because memory prices upticked. But they're moving, so if you look at the next generation of storage, they're moving to three bits per cell. That's going to come down. Uh, you know, people are pushing it in different ways. So five next, years, okay, so. Imagine so what are the we at? next iPad to iPhone. Every We're drafting behind the consumer ecosystem. Yeah, so D David Floyd, you were talking to David Floyd before. He made the prediction that flash drives, enterprise flash drives, would cross over fiber channel drives by 2012. Which is within another three to four years behind that, pretty, we'll be pretty there. aggressive, yeah. right? And then prices upticked. Right. This was he made this prediction in like 2008, right? I mean, yes. it was pretty bold to say that back then. Prices upticked, and so it sort of we had to revise the forecast there. But yeah. but so okay, so you're the first I've heard say it's going to cross over SATA and give a definitive time frame there. That's huge, right? And it, and his other point was it doesn't have to be cheaper in order to cross over because Absolutely. of the incremental value that you get out of flash. So let's talk about that a little bit. So I want to want to back up a bit. I've been watching storage trends for a long time and I've seen function go out of the host into the sand, right? Just so dragging I, it back so up there. So it can it can be shared and also the one of those seven. Now it's coming back up. Now it's, it's going to the other side of the channel. But the difference is now this time it's persistent. Yes. yes. That's a huge game-changing phenomenon, isn't yes. it? Talk yes. about why. So, th there's two or three things that's happening here, Dave. So, one is workloads and data is growing nonstop. Okay, so people are, data is getting digitized, people are doing more with data, they're doing more intensity of uses with these data. So, servers are getting faster, data is growing. The so natural, natural point is really how do we access it, how do we deliver it, how do you make this efficient from a data center standpoint, right? Servers is where the workhorse is. Today you had to put storage outside. You had to put a thousand drives to get hundred thousand IOPS or more. Ten years ago, twenty years ago, one of our cards today delivers half a million IOPS today. One of our cards. That's equivalent of four thousand hard drives in one one little card, six inch by three inch. We can put four of them in a server, put thirty two servers in a rack. We'll scale this up very, very, very fast. Okay, that's the exciting thing. PCI storage is a tenth of the latency, ten times the bandwidth. Intel is integrating PCI into its CPUs over the long term. Generation 3 is coming. This is where the action is. This is a new generation. For solid state, PCI is the right answer, I believe. Now, uh, we've been talking about Fusion I.O. One of the things Fusion I.O. does is they've, through software, essentially eliminated you know, storage protocols, right? Yes. And so that's a pretty interesting dynamic. Right. How are you different from what Fusion I.O. is Absolutely. doing? And, 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 and why will you be able to, to compete? So, Bunch of couple of simple things, right? What people buy these for is really what we call 
application sustained performance. You buy these cards, flash is still a new media, people are learning how to do with it. What happens to this flash drive on day one versus day 1000 is very different. You got to understand the physics of flash, how this media works, and how do you manage that performance profile across time, across workloads, and across capacity. What we do very well is we are four to five times the performance of the best in class, Fusion IO today in the, in, the, in the PCI sector. We can deliver the performance across a range of workloads from read mostly to read write bias workloads. And we can deliver it when the card is full and it's utilized to its capacity. So all three factors combined, we can deliver a value proposition that's a factor that's compelling to the enterprise. Okay, so let's talk. Uh, let's talk proof points and customers. What? Uh, where are you at with with customers? And so we are throwing out some pretty big numbers. That's uh, that's impressive. We've got uh, we've got great technology. We've got the best of breed technology in terms of how we've done hard computer science to make this work. We have a bunch of algorithm, a bunch of technology in our in our boards that helps us scale. Proof points wise, we are launched this product what six months ago into the market. We've got we're building our revenue. We've got over 100 plus customers. We're building up. Uh, we are working to get aggressively new channels to the market. We're, we're going to announce a couple of large deals. Um, you're going to see that in the press over the next couple of quarters. Can you talk about any customers? Or? I, I have a bunch of case studies. We can go to our website. Some of the largest. So we have a customer uh, called iParadigms in the Web 2.0 world. They were initial Fusion IO customer. You've got very good performance numbers with you're them. You're saying they, they switched from they Fusion switched. IO. Why? You, Fundamentally, what we can deliver is sustained performance at a capacity utilization that's unmatched. When you fill up the drive, when you keep executing on, on that, fill data, we can deliver an order of magnitude better performance. Too. That's that's the facts. And there's case studies on our website. We'll be happy to give you more, more pointers to that. So we've got a couple of other customers who are doing uh, new solutions with these. You know, it's not, you know, this is the, this is the first of nine innings in, the, in, this, in this game. It's, it's a huge market. And uh, we've got database solutions being created, virtualization solutions being created. We've got uh, technical computing, you know, large simulation clusters. Uh, you want to do checkpointing fast. We have ability to take these utilization of these clusters from, you know, 50% to 100% fairly quickly, not idling these, these 2,000, 4,000 node clusters for doing these checkpoints. So d multiple different ways is going to come. We're focusing on how to enable the channels, the end users to really deliver the hardware. We've got a very unique software strategy on top. That'll, that'll wrap this yeah. all together. Well, as John said, it's a very hot area, right? I mean, there's always, in, the, in any business, there's room for, for more than one. And Correct. this is certainly the, the case in our business, and, right? And uh, we've just find, you know, we've done a round of financing with uh, Sequoia Capital. Last so, so where are you at? How, uh, how much have you raised? We've raised a little under $40 million. Okay, so um, you got some... What's your round? How many rounds? We've done two rounds. And we'll probably need a little bit more. But we've got some very unique OEM deals I can't talk about today, but you'll see it in coming out in the next... How mu who else has invested? Just Sequoia or...? We have Sequoia, uh, Globespan Capital, and um, Artiman Ventures. Three, three, three investors. Yeah, from Artiman. They've been around. They're doing a lot of storage deals. Yeah, yeah. The, the early stage, they, they worked with us for the last three years. Where are they based? So they're all local. They're all Silicon Valley. Artiman? Yes. I never heard of them. Yes. They're, they're I thought I knew all the early stage VCs. No, already one is early stage. So. Okay, well thank you so much. Solid State's great, entrepreneurship is hot, you guys are going to make a lot of money. Solid State's got a huge demand, I mean, just start pumping out the content, I mean product, because they need, they need, we need it. We've Ship got, it and they will got, come. Got, yeah. We've got the best product yeah. today, that I can tell you. Yeah. Okay, well, thanks very much. Okay, we're going to bring Chris in.